and welcome back to Page Rage Tutorials. Today we're going to do a layout featuring Harry Connick Jr. So we're going to go to Google Images and do a search. And we're going to go to Advanced Search and look for something specifically for our title bar. So we're going to look for something that has a wider scope. And we like this image, so we're going to go and grab that and save image. Now remember whatever images you choose, please be sure you do have permission to use them. So now we're going to go over to PageRage layout, PageRage.com. Click on create your own layout and get started. So we're going to add a little bit of a color to our title bar. So let's go with this red for now. Then we're going to click next step and we're going to upload an image for our left curtain and we're going to upload an image for our right curtain and as you can see we've added a little bit of a um, decor to both of these images and we love these images but we want them a little bit softer so we're going to make them a little bit transparent we're going to go back to our left curtain and make it transparent as well. <coughs> now we're going to load our title bar image. So let's start with the one that we found earlier. Now when you um, load up an image for the title bar, as you can see, um, you can move it around so you can focus in on the area that you want. And you may not notice, but this is tiling, so we're going to unclick the tile. So we just want the image by itself. And if we wanted to add a little bit of transparency, we can do that as well. But after looking at this image, we're not so excited about it. So we're going to hit clear, go back to load, and load up a title bar we made specifically for this layout. And, you know, the red's a little bit off, so we're going to go back a little bit to select color and select a red that matches a little bit better. And that one works pretty well, so we're going to hit next step. Also, you can enter the specific color here if you want. Next step, we're going to select our text color, and we're going to go with something a little gray. And then we're going to hit next step, and we're going to name our layout. And then once you name your layout, just hit Save and Publish. Once you hit Save and Publish, you will get taken to a success page that looks like this. And as you can see, it says your new Facebook layout has been successfully loaded, so it's on your profile. You can grab any of these codes if you want to share your layout. These codes will work well on any blog or website, and basically you can insert a little bit of HTML. For the single pod, you would just select this code, or if you want a full layout preview, you would select this code. And if you like this layout, you can go to dailyfacebooklayouts.com and just click on the layout and load it up onto your Facebook profile. Thank you for joining us again for another page rage tutorial and come back soon for more fabulous layouts from PageRage.